the expression 2 minus x minus 1 all over x plus 2 is equivalent to, so we have to perform a little bit of rewrite. So in order for us to do that, I'm going to copy the question. So I have 2 minus x minus 1 over x plus 2. In order for us to combine these two expressions together, we will need to create common denominators. So I want to multiply the 2 by x plus 2 over x plus 2. And I want to subtract that with x minus 1 over x plus 2. This will then become 2 times x plus 2 minus x minus 1. But don't forget to put parentheses around the x minus 1 because we are subtracting the entire numerator of that fraction there all over x plus 2. From there, I'm going to distribute the 2 and I'm going to distribute the negative sign. So I get 2x plus 4 minus x plus 1 all over x plus 2. This reduces to th uh, x plus 5 all over x plus 2. And if you look at this, I have x plus 5 over x plus 2. This is an alternative way of thinking about it. You can certainly do long division, you know, or synthetic division to solve this. But I'm going to show you another way of thinking about this. x plus 5 can be re-expressed as x plus 2 plus 3. Right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this fraction up. How am I going to do that? Well, is this not the same as x plus 2? over x plus 2 plus 3 over x plus 2? It is, isn't it? And x plus 2 over x plus 2, isn't that just 1? Right? And then the fraction I'm left with is 3 over x plus 2. So what we started with, 2 minus x minus 1 over x plus 2, is equivalent to 1 over 1 plus 3 over x plus 2. And that would be option... Two.